Hi, I'm Professor Fudge. Today we're talking about acids and bases. Some differences between acids and bases are acids are corrosive while bases are slippery, acids taste sour and bases are bitter, and acids can turn litmus red while bases turn litmus blue. Thank you. Right. When an acid and base mix is called neutralization. Earlier I said that acids are corrosive. This means they can eat away at almost any object. So when you're working with acids, wear the proper safety equipment and keep it away from your skin. Hi, I'm Professor P. Lasma. I'm going to talk to you about neutralization reactions. A neutralization reaction is a process of making two substances that are both acidic and basic into a neutral substance, water. The reactions that are necessary for a neutralization reaction are acids and bases. These both need to be present because they are key parts of a neutralization reaction. To create a neutralization reaction, you need to create water, which is a neutral substance. So you need one hydrogen and another hydrogen plus an oxygen atom. This forms H2O water, the only neutral substance. Acids give off a hydrogen ion and bases give off a hydroxide ion, and when put together, this creates a H2O, a neutral substance. I'm going to be talking about the result of a neutralization reaction. When acid and a base mix together, it creates a neutral substance, which is usually H2O or water, CO2 or carbon dioxide, or a salt. There's variations of salt that can be created depending on the acid and the base. So when H2O is created, it is because an acid and a base come together but cancel each other out. The acidic and basic properties are gone and it's just a neutral substance without any acidic or basic properties. CO2 and salt can be created from this but not always. This is only sometimes happens. This removes the acidity and alkalinity of the substances, which is useful for treating burns because it turns into a neutral substance, helping the skin heal. This has been Dr. P. Lasma. Good night. That's some good neutral substance. Oh, didn't see you there. Neutralization reactions in industry and medicine involve the belief that bases and acids cancel each other out when they are added to each other. A neutralization reaction could be used in medicine to stop a harmful base or acid having an effect on the human body because you can just fix it by adding an acid or a base. As factory, factories emit huge amounts of sulfur dioxide which can be neutralized by a base to prevent air pollution. Neutralization reactions can be used in agriculture if soil is too acidic to grow plants. A base can be added to neutralize the soil, allowing plants to grow. Common uses for neutralization reactions in our daily world include the pain caused by the sting of a wasp, which can be remedied by adding an acid such as vinegar, which can help stop the pain. Research has shown that snake acids, which is a base, which means that it can be counteracted with amino acids. Antacids that contain bases, including aluminium hydroxide, can be used to neutralize excessive amounts of stomach acids. Decaying food particles release an acid, which leads to tooth decay, which can be neutralized by toothpaste, as it is a base. Using the dropper bottle, we carefully added 10 drops of hydrochloric acid to a test tube. Then we added two drops of methyl orange indicator. Then we added the sodium carbonate slowly, one drop at a time. We then stopped when a colour change had occurred and recorded the number of drops needed. Hi, I've been Professor P. Lasma, my associate. Professor Fudge. Thanks for watching. I'm other associate. Professor Stack. Tune in next week for on why plasma is an element. Thank you.